I'm excited to be here with you today for another midweek check-in. Uh, we're here, we have a couple of things happening today. Today is Ash Wednesday, it's the beginning of the Lenten season, and so if you are out and about today, we have two different times that you can come and, and receive the imposition of ashes. You can come between 12 and 1 today. Pastor John and I will be uh, out in the in the front area of the church and you can drive through and get your ashes that way. Or if you want to come inside, you can come into the prayer room. And then we'll be back here again this evening from 6 to 7. And again, you can drive through and have the imposition of ashes right there in your car, or you can come inside to the sanctuary where we'll be doing that here as well. Never done a drive through imposition of ashes, so I'm seeing if we have any takers out there. Yeah, it'll be exciting. It'll be a little cold, but we're, uh, we're looking forward to cold. it. <laughs> so that is today, again, from 12 to 1, and then again from 6 to 7 today. Now we also have, uh, coming up starting next Wednesday, uh, we have new Bible studies that are starting. So Pastor John is doing a Bible study on the life of Peter, and I'll be doing one about Holy Week. We're really looking forward to, to sitting down and kind of getting into, into the Lenten uh, season with, with you. So you can sign up for those classes. Now, you can sign up, especially if you're wanting to do Zoom. You need to sign up using our Cognito form, which will be linked to this video, and that'll just help us to know who's going to be joining us for Zoom. Make sure you guys get the link. But also, if you plan on doing it so in person it really helps us to know what size classroom to use so please sign up if you're able um, and again that link will be connected to this video so that you'll be able to sign right up for that and that starts next Wednesday starting at 6 30. And lastly, you will notice we're sitting at a dining room table in the sanctuary, which is probably a little different. You may have seen it this past Sunday, but uh, this table is kind of our symbol for our next sermon series and really for the rest of the year. Our next sermon series for the Lenten season is called A Place at the Table. It's really all about how God invites us to be in relationship with him, how he invites us to be a part of his, his banquet, his feast, his kingdom which is represented by the table. And so as we come and we're in relationship with God, then we are to invite others to find their place at the table, to join us in our discipleship journey, to help disciple them and to bring them into a relationship with God. Awesome. So this Sunday, yeah, I'm kind of kicking off the sermon series and, and uh, the first person we'll be inviting to our table is Jesus. So as we are preparing for this uh, new Lenten study, the first person at our table needs to be Christ because we need to be centered in Jesus before we start to bring other people to the table. Now, just a, a, a quick update. We've mentioned this before, but beginning around the first week of March, we are changing our phone systems over. Um, our current phone system is, is dying a slow um, yet <laughs> painful death. Painful death. Yeah, slow and painful death. So we are uh, transitioning over to a new phone system. So beginning again around the first week of March, it's going to be a little different when you call in. I'm just the messenger, so don't shoot me. It will be an auto uh, receptionist, mm -hmm. so you will not get a, get a live person to begin with, uh, but you will have that option, believe me. Um, so beginning around the first week of March, when you call in, if you get an auto attendant, you you have reached the right church. We're just kind of switching over our phone systems. But we think it's going to be really good. We think it's going to be very efficient. And uh, some people's um, um, recorded messages will actually be able to be changed. And yes. voicemail will work. And so all of that <laughs> stuff will be good and much, much needed. Also, just wanted to lift up a couple of prayer requests. First is Bruce Atkinson, just dealing with some health issues. So pray for Bruce. And then also the family of Pat Warfel. She's a member here at Faith Church. She passed away last, or this previous Sunday on Valentine's Day, February 14th. And her services are going to be Friday, 11 o'clock at Stem Lawson Peterson. Also, uh, visitation is there the night before Thursday, tomorrow evening from 4 to 7. So we want to pray for the Pat Warfel family. So as we uh, close, unless I forgot anything. I don't think so. As we close, let us just bow our heads in a word of prayer. Most gracious God, we do thank you for this, this day being Ash Wednesday and how it begins the Lenten season. It begins this journey toward Holy Week and Easter. Dear God, we thank you that we're going to be able to, to be in person this Sunday. And so we, 
thank you for that and are so grateful and we just pray that you'll bless the sanctuary and all who enter it on Sunday. Dear God, we thank you that we can continue the, this, uh, the uh, online presence as well and so we'll continue that and thank you for those people who will be watching at home. But dear God, we just pray that you'll bring us into a closer relationship with you as we begin Lent with today being Ash Wednesday and then over these next uh, several weeks again as we prepare for the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Dear God, just be with Bruce, be with the family of Pat Werfel. I pray that you'll give to them exactly what they need at this time. And dear God, again, just thank you for walking with us, being our God, inviting us to the table so that we can be a part of your family. It's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. There is something about gathering around the table, the food, the relationships, the atmosphere. It is a place of welcome, a place of belonging. The table is a symbol for God's kingdom. As we come to a relationship with Christ, we are seated at the table with him, welcomed and known. But that's not the end of our story. It's important to remember that showing up on Sunday isn't enough. We are called for greater things, to be a people of faith. We are called to multiply the church, to invite others to the table, to help them discover his love, his grace, and to be known by him. In the parable of the wedding feast in Matthew 22, 9, it says, So go to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. So this year at Faith United Methodist Church, our challenge is to grow the kingdom of God, to bring a neighbor, family member, or friend to the table with you, because no one wants to go to the table alone. And guess what? God already knows their name and he has prepared a place at the table for them. So this year, the question is, who is your plus one?